We do need to know the history of it, the people who are involved in it. We need the statues. Mm. And I think a bit like, when, again, when you go to the States, before this really kicked off, most of those statues did have plaques, yeah. and they did explain the historical context. That's all we need, and then we need to move on. And well, uh, absolutely, but I remember slavery is still going on. What, what do you think? Yeah, yeah, sure. I, I don't even think you need to put it into any sort of context. I mean, what oh. next? The, the, the city of Liverpool, welcome to Liverpool, with a, with a caveat saying this fabulous city centre was built through the profits of slavery. It was. Exactly. So that what do you do? Uh, exactly. So, so how far do you go? Donald Trump once said, uh, and I think he summed it up perfectly, he said, what are you going to do? Tear down the George Washington Bridge? Because, of course, George Washington was a slave owner. It, it was um, a, an international knee-jerk reaction to the terrible murder of right. uh, George Floyd. And, and I also want to just tackle the, the, the moral high ground which you said in your opening monologue. Th this is a tactic, in my view, employed by people to close you down and close debate down. Yeah, yeah. Because if you, if you hold the moral high ground, then you can, in effect, do whatever you want. We, we saw this a couple of weeks ago with... Uh, who's the Labour MP? Uh, Angela Rayner. Angela Rayner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in my view, using the word racist inappropriately, she's holding the moral high ground. So what she can do, she can close you down, she can call you a racist. Well, she, she used quite a lot of words. She, she did, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and this, this is Dan, 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 that's very different to, actually, the crime of slavery. It was a massive crime. It was a massive but, but holocaust. No, listen. But, have you been to Auschwitz? Would you not want I, I to talk about the nature Auschwitz. of Auschwitz? Yes. Why can't we talk about the slavery trade in that way? That doesn't mean we have to beat ourselves up. doesn't mean we have to wear a horsehair shirt. But people in Liverpool should understand what the Tate and Lyle building was. People in parts of London where it is, they should understand. And the same in Bristol. We should understand that so that we don't let, ever allow it to happen again. Although, as you rightly say, there is still slavery. And, of course, we're going to talk about Saudi Arabia mm. buying Newcastle. So, it's not a company. What are you... It was Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia and Dubai still have massive slavery problems. So we do need to confront So it. what do you want on the Tate and Lau building? Some sort of plaque to I say know, that I this think, was built? I think some kind of description, education, about how foul the trade was. If you, I'm but, sure but you have, Dan. There is... If you actually read the books about the passage and the way that people were just thrown overboard and they were literally treated as a, a product. They were dehumanised, mm. yeah. right? They weren't even treated as animals. This is disgusting. It's a stain on us all, but, but and we should recognise it. But, but we do yeah. recognise it. Uh, recognise that slavery is not right. <laughs> it's still going on. It's still going yeah. on now. It's going on in China, in North Korea. Yeah. It's going on in Nigeria. It's everywhere, basically. It's, it's, it's a pandemic, endemic. It's all over the place. And we are doing... Eastern Europe has got a huge slave trade as well. So that aside, the point is that these people, and these, these people are put up there, and may, I don't know whether they were glorified in any way, but perhaps they were in a prominent position, but there was no real explanation as to why they were there. People so would not explain, have known who Colston was, for example. So to explain why he's there is fine, and to have him up there is yeah. fine. I don't believe in yeah. ripping them down, because I agree. if you know about it, then you can try not to...